All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy video. Now, in this video, y'all, this is more of a serious type of video. Personally, when I first seen this video, because I did watch this video, I swear, y'all, I I'm still shook. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still shook. Okay, this is one of those videos. Okay, so I'm gonna watch the entire video through. I already watched this video, so I know pretty much everything. But I want to share this video with y'all for people who that probably would never see this video because it may not come across your uh, timeline. This may not be your type of algorithm. So I just wanted to share this video with all of y'all, man. Uh, so without further ado, this video is 30 minutes long. So I'm gonna watch the entire video, get my thoughts at the end of the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Without further ado. Ew. Let's go. But all right, that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, uh, I don't really like talking about this. This is a touchy subject. This is no games. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, crap. I get like fidgety talking about this because I used to watch videos all the time on YouTube about supernatural encounters. I prayed for supernatural encounters, but I never prayed to get taken to hell. I always wanted to get taken to heaven or see an angel or see Jesus. You know, um, I never wanted to see an out-of-body experience, the one I seen. It was crazy. I'm going to try to manipulate later on in this video. I'm going to try to find a sound similar to um, what I heard. Because what I heard was something I never even heard on Earth. But I'm going to try to put it in this video to show y'all just 1% of how scary the music is and how scary the big bowling noise is. And it's not going to do justice, but I just want y'all to visually hear what I heard. I give my life to Lord. I get delivered. The next day I go to jail. I get delivered. The next day I go to jail. 24, I think 21 or 24 demons came out of me. I got a video. I'm going to put a clip in. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Before Jehovah God, say before Jehovah God, before Jehovah God that mocking spirit is gone. The mocking spirit is gone. Is that true? <laughs> I'm not asking Lucifer, come back. I'm not talking about Jezebel. I'm talking about the mocking spirit. Um, y'all already noticed. Okay, I want to pause it right there because a lot of y'all might think, bro, that's fake. That's fake. He did that. Fam, I seen a demon get casted out literally in person. Okay? literally in person i made a poll recently and i i said i'm gonna give all my thoughts at the end but i want i just wanted to pause right there because i gotta say this i uh when i first gave my life to christ i didn't believe in the whole casting out demons and all that like i didn't i thought it was fake okay i thought pastors just lay their hands on you and they push you and they force you some pastors do that but bro the power of the holy spirit is super powerful i made a poll and said do y'all believe in a spiritual realm a lot of people oh, i don't believe in fairy tales i don't believe in this i don't be bro some of y'all are very much delusional some of y'all have so y'all y'all eyes are closed to seeing truth that that certain things that things that are really 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 true y'all don't believe but things that are super super fake y'all believe because the devil has put blinders over your eyes so that y'all won't see what's really going on the bible tells us that we're not fighting against flesh and blood but against spiritual principalities like we're literally fighting against evil forces in the spiritual realm that is what we're fighting against but we think is always physical 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 no the spiritual realm is more powerful and more realer if that's even a word than the physical realm him having 24 some demons cast out of him is the most realest thing ever. And people don't believe that. They think it was him that was doing all that laughing. It, 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 no, it's not. Bro, it is literally a spirit living inside each person. Okay, inside each person. The more you open yourself up to the things of the world, the more you be filled with the flesh. The, the, the more you be filled with the fleshly things, the fleshly desires. The more that Satan starts to come inside of you and manifest inside of you. Him and his demons is having a ball inside of you because a spirit needs something to attach to so it can live in. Okay. It needs something. It needs a body. It needs something. 
Okay, a spirit can't just be flowing around. Low, in, low. When the cat, when the spirit is getting casted out, of somebody it needs another home to jump to. If it don't have another home, it's gonna go back to the same home that it left. If that home is not filled with the Holy Spirit, that's just a point out simple truth. And a lot of y'all don't believe that. I pray that a lot of y'all. I seriously need to start praying about that because I want y'all to truly see the spiritual realm. Not, not literally go through what he went through, but at least know that. The spiritual room is more realer than this physical room. And I'm going to finish the video. I just want to say that because that that right there had me shook, bro. The man, I, it wasn't even him that was laughing. The demon said that he, it was Lucifer talking. So this man, Lucifer, is manifested in him. 24 demons, Jezebel, all these different type of demons manifested in this man. <sighs> y'all, man, I hope y'all open y'all eyes, bro. Wake up. Wake up. This is all my testimony. I got delivered three times. I still didn't know what was wrong. You know, so that right there destroyed Lauren because Lauren like, yo, he's doing this on his own. He not demonically oppressed. He's using this to make, you know, like it was so much. Y'all don't know. I don't want to say too much. It was just so much going on. And y'all just looking at me like I got life. Everything's perfect. I'm a YouTuber. You know, he's stupid. He got a beautiful wife, three kids. You know what I'm saying? But y'all not knowing what's going on inside of me. And a lot of YouTubers probably going through this i don't know but i'm gonna speak for my testimony so you know i'm giving my life to christ and you know my life is really dramatically changed i feel weird every, every day it's so weird i feel weird i get um um austin you know shout out to austin he baptized me uh, i feel good my body's shaking you know and i'm going to church i'm trying i'm trying but i still have some in me so let's fast forward again so now we sped up this is the part where i'm about to tell y'all about the um about the hell so all right so this is me and lauren we're split up and uh you know financially we lost everything you know we lost everything and it was rough so i'm praying to god y'all i'm a christian i mind you i'm fully blown y'all seen us one last time when i had the mask on right y'all seen that video lauren took the videos down but y'all seen the video where uh if y'all this is y'all subscribers if y'all completely knew um basically i'm explaining the whole situation because i was if you knew i was a famous youtuber and i'm just explaining the situation to lead up to the hell situation so basically um we thought god restored us you know i thought god restored my marriage and i got so mad at god and i'm praying i'm like how can you restore my marriage i don't have no finances you took everything from me um i did so much damage to my wife like what is going on you know so me not knowing that I'm still feeling lonely and I haven't really been delivered or godly sorrow. Me and my wife get into it and I leave, do what I always do. And I noticed it was the same thing I always do. When an argument started or when I felt lonely and rejected or whatever, I would go back to this girl. So, um, and I would go to this girl being mad at God, being rebellious. So I went back to this girl. Mind you, I haven't did no edibles. I haven't did no drugs, you know, because I remember I'm a Christian. I already knew that if I did drugs, it's going to bring the demons back seven times worse, right? You know, when you go back into the stuff you're doing. Yeah. So I get this hotel. That's what I was talking about when I said if a demon get cast out of you and, it, and you're not filled with the Holy Spirit and, you know what I'm saying, you continue to do the lifestyle you was already living, but you just got demons cast out, that demon can literally come back into you because your home is not filled up with the Holy Spirit. It's empty. It's empty. So why, so if I, why, why, why go to, uh, how should I put this? Why go to someone else's house, you know what I'm saying, when it's filled and it got furniture in there and it's cleaned and everything like that, when I could just go back to where I came from, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope that makes, I was trying to think of a analogy for that, but it's really no analogy I could put in that. You know what I'm saying? It's just self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all don't believe, but man, hopefully after this video, y'all believe, bro. I'm done posting for real, for real. Okay, all thoughts at the end of the video. I promise. Okay. <laughs> and I'm using the girl because I just want to feel, I need that pain to go away. You know, I'm mad at God, my finances, my life. I feel like my life is ruined. You know, I had this platform. I keep going back and forth. My subs don't like me. It's so much going through my head, y'all. Like, I just feel like one big failure. Like, yo, what is wrong with me? That's what I feel like. I feel like what is wrong with me? I had the perfect wife kids you know i had all this and i just felt like i ruined it you know and i don't know why i ruined it. i really didn't i just thought i had a lust problem and i was like am i stupid or that's how i'm feeling right so um um uh, so i knew about not committing suicide because i was a christian but this particular day um 
the girl that I was with didn't even want to do edibles because we used to do drugs together when we was, you know, when I wasn't with my wife, I was with this girl. And she, we had a bad encounter together. We had a terrible encounter. And she said she was done. She actually was trying to get her life right, you know. And, but, um, she like, yo, don't take these drugs. I'm like, no, I'm doing it. In my head, I'm mad at God. I'm like, yo, I'm done with this Christian walk. I don't want to even deal with this no more. It's all this is it's bored like god i want you to be broke he don't he like all this is just it's, it just don't make sense i'm i don't care you know what i'm saying i'm that's what i'm saying to god i'm saying it in my head i'm praying to god to show me signs he didn't show me a sign he quiet and i'm demanding god like god if you don't show me this i'm not i don't care about my wife i'm doing my own thing i'm if i die i die that's how i'm thinking like i'm thinking like that yo which is crazy right so it's 2 p.m oh boy I'm able to smile now because I got joy, but trust me, it's, it's about to get worse. So I go to the place, you know, it's 2 p.m. afternoon, and she, I'm trying to convince her to do it. She don't want to do it at all. It's just me. And um, I go to this place. There's a Mexican lady in there, and I feel a presence because, mind you, I'm still a Christian. I know about the spiritual realm, but I feel the presence of, like, it being so dark and demonic in this edible place. And I'm looking at her. The lady looking at me weird. And I'm looking at her like, I know I'm supposed to be in here. And I'm just stuttering my word. I'm like, uh, give me the lightest ones I got. She gave me four Rice Krispie treats. The four Rice, the four rice Krispie treats, they 25 milligrams. I used to take 1,000 milligrams to be high. Jeez. So these are the lightest edibles I ever took ever doing edibles. Mind you, when I was doing drugs to, you know, get my mind off God and all the other stuff I was doing, right? So I took him. I asked the girl, you sure you don't want to do it? She's sitting right here. Not in this car exactly, but she's like, no, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> so I take the edibles. They don't kick in, you know, they don't kick in for about two hours. Instantly when they kick in, I go to sleep. So this is the part where I see hell. When I go to sleep, I left my body. When I left my body, boy, let's just say I had a heart attack and I died. I was able to see out my body. I was right here watching me die, but I was able to be inside my body, if that makes sense. I was able to see out how I'm looking at y'all right now, but I was able to see, all right, y'all is me watching me die <laughs> like that. That's what I see myself doing. I'm dying. But in the midst of me dying, I'm watching me die. That makes sense. I'm watching me die, but I'm yelling out to the girl like, yo, help me call the cops, call the ambulance. And she's not responding. She's just doing her thing, right? And I'm watching me die, bro. I'm watching me die. Like, and it was the most painful feeling I ever felt having a heart attack. I couldn't breathe. It was like a sharp knife getting stabbed through my body. And I had all the thoughts of, oh my God, I'm dying of my sin. And then at the time I'm thinking of me dying of my sin, I'm thinking like, I'm not calling on the name of Jesus. I'm having these thoughts, but I'm not calling on it. It happened like in the blink of an eye. It's nowhere you can think like, oh, if I die, I could just say, God, forgive me. No, I couldn't do that. It was like, this is it. You died in your sin. You knew about Jesus. God gave you one last chance. He sent prophets your way. He sent your wife your way. Everything your way to tell you to stop doing what you was doing. And you did this out of rebellion, right? So I'm thinking of that and I'm watching myself die. I'm holding my chest. Next thing you know, I don't know how much time it was. Now I'm not watching myself no more. Now I'm that person that was watching me die. I'm just him. I'm looking out that vision. I'm looking in a room. We was in a hotel room. The TV was on. I say this to the people I did tell because I didn't tell too many people about my health testimony because I don't like talking about it. So the first thing I noticed, you only get like a couple seconds to realize that you're dead. And once you realize that, you go going to where you got to go. So I look at the TV and I'm like, this is the most terrible acting. I say exactly how I said it. I'm like, why is the acting so terrible? You had such knowledge you have the most 360 view of every single thing. You is so smart, but I'm realizing the acting is terrible and it's deceiving the people that's watching. I literally noticed that. I didn't look at the girl. I instantly heard the biggest earthquake noise of my life. It was the biggest boom noise I ever heard. It felt like my ears was about to bleed. And I got so scared and I heard like a demonic laugh and it was all at once mixed in. Boom! <laughs> and the demon that was laughing at me had like five voices like a legion. It was it was the most demonic laugh. It was like Call of Duty zombies on Black Ops 2 
amplified with a deep voice and they're laughing as the boom noise is going on and you realizing you're there and i'm freaking out frenicky mind you it's the most demonic instrumental playing it alone with the boom noise and the boom noise is going like a thread boom boom like that that's what it's doing i'm gonna try to put an instrumental or whatever and I'm going down, right? And I'm seeing the little realm of the earth. The earth is so little. The earth is like, it's the smallest realm. And as I'm going down, I'm having these intrusive thoughts because you don't talk. And I'm talking, but as I'm talking, your voice is literally making noise, like voices, like, where, where am I going? And you instantly get a feedback. You're never getting out of here. And the demon would say that to me. You're never getting out of here. You're never going nowhere. You're a failure. You're hearing everything at once. But also you're seeing the realm as you're going down. You're seeing everything. Everything going on at once is freaking you out. And I'm like, yo, you got so much knowledge, but you're not worried about the knowledge. You're worried about, oh my God, I'm stuck here for eternity. And as I'm going down, I'm hearing this demon keep laughing at me. I'm sitting around. I'm in my head. Oh my God, I'm never getting out of here. I got, oh my God. And this wasn't a dream. This wasn't a bit. This felt real. I had scary dreams before. And I'm and as I'm going down, I'm still hearing that dramatic noise. That instrumental, I can't even say it out my mouth, but I could do that. Boom, a thunder, boom, a, like out of the, it's out of this realm, but it's blended together. But I can hear it clearly. The dude that's laughing at me, and I go to this 360 room. It's pure dark, but I'm able to see. And it's one big bean right here, and his face is cut off, but I can see the chest and the body, and I'm I can't move, and I'm just hearing that demonic music, and I'm hearing that dreadful noise and now i'm at the point where i'm freaking out because the demon is tormenting me now like he's talking to me you're never getting out of here and i'm like why didn't i listen he laughing like laugh it's so much going on and i just got to screaming god god this is this is the crazy part god didn't have no power down here get me out of here god i'm just uh i'm screaming knowing i can't get out it felt like i was down there for eternity i can't even tell you the time i was down there but I'm screaming. But I, I thought of one thing. Jesus, Jesus. I said Jesus. Boom. Instantly in my body. But that's the crazy part, right? So I'm instantly in my body, right? Boom. Same thing happened again. Now I feel like, I don't know. If, I, at this point, I don't know if it's God messing with me to teach me a lesson. Or I don't know if my soul is getting fought. Like, I don't know if the prayer somebody prayed for me. I don't know from this part, but I got dragged out of my body five times. But every time I said, Jesus, I got sucked back in my body, but it felt like the demons was pulling me back and laughing. And every time I came back, it got even louder. It got even worse. And the lives got even louder. So I, Jesus, help me. I'm so sorry. Go back in my body. And now when I, let me tell you this, when I did get sucked in my body, it was as look, I was in a natural world and I was talking to the girl and it was like, okay, I'm good. No. Boom! I'm sucked back. Oh my god! And it was the worst because now that was my hell experience. I didn't see the flames. I seen the outer darkness, and I called on the name of Jesus five times, five to six times. Came back in my body, got sorted back, and everything got amplified. The voices, me talking to the people, that got amplified. You're never getting out of here. The demon talking to me, and I'm like, oh my god! That got amplified five times. But I called on Jesus, and Jesus was the only name to get me out of hell. Literally. So, okay, I came back in my body for one last time when I called on Jesus, and this was it. But now, it's another day. It's another totally different day. I went to sleep at like 4 o'clock, and I didn't wake up off 100 milligrams of edibles to 7.30 a.m. the next day. And the girl sleep, and I wake up, and then I'm freaking out. The girl thought I was schizophrenia. And she like, what are you talking about? I said, I went to hell. I got to go. I can't be with you. I'm sorry. 
you she taught what I was doing because I was going back and forth to her and to my wife back and forth. And she taught me, she thinking I'm like, yo, I'm never messing with this dude either. He kind of out of it, like something wrong with him now. And I'm like, yo, I'm not crazy. I just seen hell. I told you not to take those L. No, I just got took into hell. I got to take you home. I can't go back to my wife because me and her broken up at this point. Like, we're done. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Detroit. That's where I'm at right now. I'm in Detroit. I had a pack of clothes there. I left all the clothes there. I'm missing some parts out. So this is the part where she started calling me schizophrenic and I'm tripping. You doing this thing again because you want to use me and go back to your wife. So you made up this story. And I'm like, I didn't make this story up to try to go back to my wife. I didn't. I really seen him. So that's what the girl's saying. And then now I'm explaining to her what I seen. And I'm telling her what she did. And she's starting to believe me. Like, wait, how did you tell me what you seen? Because I seen hell and I seen you in the spirit room. And she told me I was asleep from either 3 o'clock or 4. I don't know when I went to sleep. But it, like I said, I took the edibles at 2.30 and I had to go to sleep instantly. I remember I went to sleep instantly. We went for a ride and I came back and I went to sleep. So she said I was asleep for about eight hours. I never did that off edibles. I take a little nap, but I never midday wake up the next day. I wake up at night when the edible were off, but I was asleep. She said I was asleep the whole time, didn't move, didn't do nothing, just sleep. So for, she started to believe me because for me to tell her exactly what she was doing, she was like, okay. Uh, she started to packing her stuff up, take me home. She like, you know, she calling me names and stuff, but I'm not even worrying. I'm just like, you know, I'm I'm giving my life to the Lord. This is it. I'm I had it. I'm sorry, God. You got it. I'm thinking I'm about to get sucked back. I'm like, yo, they 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 playing with me. These demons, God, somebody playing with me. I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, this wasn't supposed to happen to me. I'm a big YouTuber. Man, nobody's gonna believe me. This stuff happened to people like Chinese or the regular people. You know, I'm a Christian, but this wouldn't happen to me. I would never see hell. This wouldn't happen to me. I'm a millions of followers, 300K. Nobody's going to believe me. They're going to think I fell off. And, you know, they don't know I gave the stuff up. They think, oh, Joel just crazy. He's trying to use this Jesus thing to, to run to because he's having mental issues or he don't want to be a YouTuber or he's a cheater. Like, I'm thinking of this. I'm like, I got to let the people know. I'm drained. I drop her off. And mind you, God revealed to me this girl wasn't for me. Because at one point, I used to think, like, maybe she's for me. And I just don't supposed to be with my with Lauren, my wife. Maybe, I, I don't know. I always had thoughts. Like, maybe I chose up. I just got kids. God revealing to me, like, she's not the one. Because she wasn't even comforting me to tell me. She didn't quote Bible scripture. She ain't comforting me. She ain't do nothing. And I'm telling her, I just seen hell. I'm freaking out. I'm driving like this. I don't, I think she said some stuff, y'all, but hear me out. I don't know what she was saying to me because I, I was so out of it. I was numb. And I'm just like, I don't want to get a confrontation with her. You know, last time I dropped this girl off, I was in jail. She, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want the devil to find out that I didn't, I didn't want to do anything stupid to where I get called to jail. And, you know, last time I got delivered, I went to jail for one month. I'm like, no. I don't want to do nothing stupid. Let me drop this girl off. If she cuts me out, I'm going to just sit there and take it. Because the last thing I want to do is get woken up from hell for real. And I get into an argument. Now I got to deal with the police and spiritual warfare. And I was like, yo, this stuff is real. I got to get my life in order. I got to, I got to, this is it. And I was almost kind of happy in a way, but I was scared. I couldn't be around loud music. I drop her off. Boom, you know. She's looking at me and I'm just like, she don't even know what just happened to me, yo. You know, I've been dealing with so much. People told me, y'all, for the new subscribers, I mean, for the new people watching this video, people were saying witchcraft was on me. Like, my life in the last four years, four years, no, I say two years. My life in the last two years, I had a lot of money, but my life has been so much hell. And I've been told somebody did witchcraft on me. 2021, I hear the Lord says to me, I saw a particular woman who traveled to all the way to Jamaica. You understand? I don't know if you've been there before, but there's a woman who used to be a part of your circle and doing all this video. She traveled to Jamaica because, in the remember the spirit, I saw that this woman had a desire to be with you. But because you wouldn't leave your wife, she went to Jamaica with your belongings and went and did some witchcraft. And suddenly, your body starts to feel weak. Your, your body starts to feel dizzy at times. You don't feel like doing nothing. You just want to be in bed all day. Are you, are you, are you know what I'm talking about? Yes. 
And the Lord said, because that woman went and did witchcraft in Jamaica. And the Lord said, since that day, everything has been going left and right, left and right. And they didn't tell me the name of the girl, but I assumed because it was only one girl that had my clothes. And I'm thinking it was one girl that did the witchcraft for me was that girl that I was with because I was always with her, right? So it's so much going through my head, speed back up to where I'm out and I'm driving. I'm just like, yo, I'm glad this happened because I know I'm about to get right with Jesus. I'm just glad it's finally over because I used to pray to God like, God, I need help. Help me. Help me. I prayed to God. I prayed. And I knew I had a problem. I'm like, yo, this ain't this ain't normal. I wonder if other people going through this and they suppressing it. You know, and I'm just like, man, the money ain't good. I want my family back. I, I want to be right. You know, I want to be right. You know, so I'm kind of happy I seen hell because, you know, I had talks with my wife and she used this funny because she was the one that said she wanted to see hell for she can get right with Jesus. And I'm like, I don't want to see hell. I'd rather just see a spirit and be like, all right, this stuff real. Let's really get on fire for Jesus. I was the one that seen hell. And I'm like, yo, I heard the demonic beings. I seen the demonic being in the middle with me spinning around. I had a 360 view. I could see everywhere. But, man, this just goes to show you get right with God, y'all. Get right with Jesus Christ. Get right. Because God, and this goes to show you, God will go as far to take you as deep as you got to go. So that way your soul can be saved. Now, don't get me wrong. I still have problems I'm dealing with. But the fear of the Lord, I'm literally not suppress suppressing the truth i'm not running to alcohol or drugs no more absolutely no more you can die i used to tell myself oh edibles you can't die off this i'm especially 100 milligram no you can die you can die you can die off alcohol you can die in any situation don't take advantage of god give your life to jesus no matter how famous you is no matter what platform you got no matter how much money you had you can die. And let me tell you, even though I'm going to try my best to edit it and I'm going to spike the music up loud and put the laughs in there, that is not going to be what I experienced. The laughs and none of that is going to be what I experienced, not even by a hundred million times. Because you've been there and feeling neglected from God because you knew you had chances at the chances. You're thinking of everything bad. I can't explain it, y'all. I can't explain it. It's just bad it's outer darkness and i didn't see where people getting tortured i didn't see that part i just seen outer darkness and this figure and laughing at me and i'm spinning around and 360 and i could see everything and it was just torturous music blasting laughing noise i wouldn't wish this on nobody you know and from there that's why y'all been seeing me on this channel really converted to Jesus because I used to always have a hard time. What am I going to do for content? I love Jesus, but I don't want to commit. I don't know what I want to do. I told myself, I don't care about the views. I don't care about the backlash. I'm out here trying to get it right, not just for me, for my family, for my close friends. I don't care about the mockery. I don't care about the platform. You know, I don't care about the struggle. I told myself, I'm going to go through the storm. You know, y'all, go through that storm. See Jesus, bro, because you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when you're going to die, man. And I'm praying for my loved ones that don't know Christ because what I've been through in the last two years was definitely worth every moment to save my soul, to know that it's a heaven and there's a hell. I regret it, yes, but I don't regret it because I'm here to send this video to the people that need to see it. I was famous for couples channels. 1.3 million everything the devil has used to destroy my life and God has used to save one of y'all lives he sent this message and to save my life this is not a game and I told God I'd rather you know, I, I'm not with Lauren right now you know. I, but I'd rather sacrifice my life and my happiness to save other people to send out a message it sucks but at the end of the day hell is real people partying and going drinking I, I i didn't live that life i didn't like partying i was an athlete and you in the midst of money and you feeling it no get right with god that's useless i seen the realms of realms i seen me going down this realm was so small it was like a vapor it was like a vapor it was meaningless we was like cartoons everything was slow motion but i was going down fast it was like a vapor like a 
complete. And it was like, whoa, this life felt way more real than this life on earth. And it was like, what we do on this earth really matters because you don't want to spend eternity somewhere where you don't belong. And people to this day, I get comments like, Joel, why did you give up all that? And you changed so much, I'm proud of you. And like, bro, I don't still know. I'm still new, but I don't know what God has for my life. But I'm here to tell you guys, get right with Jesus. Get right with God. Get the Holy Spirit. I'm learning the Bible. And um, I didn't even want to drop this video yet. You know, I've been struggling with a lot of stuff. My life has been like different. You know, it's been different. I have peace because I do, you know, I have the Holy Spirit in me. I have real peace. But when I struggle, now I know I can go to Jesus. And that's where the peace comes from in the midst of like the financials and all the stuff that I'm struggling with, especially, you know, I have seven years of me doing YouTube, being a poor kid, then coming back down to where I'm at. That's a struggle, you know, and I can humbly tell y'all this. Yeah, I don't have the money and the, the thousands no more. Oh, sorry. I watched the video. I seen how much he spent, but bro, I bro, every time I look at that number, like I, I could watch the video four, five, six, seven times. Spending the one million dollars in twenty twenty two is crazy. Okay, I. Ooh, boy, people be having that bread, bro. People be having that bread, man. <laughs> bro, look how much his bills and utilities cost. Jeez, three hundred and eighty three thousand dollars for bills and utilities. Bam, what do you stay? <laughs> what do you stay? Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I get it back? Yes. Do I want it back? Yes. But do I want to do it that way and go through all that depression to get it? No, I don't. I don't want to do the things I did no more. And I don't want to sell my soul. You know, and there's a lot of people I know that's YouTubers going to watch this. I'm not forcing this on you. Your time will come when you have a moment with Jesus. My time is now, but this is going to help you. You can't suppress the truth. I was suppressing the truth for four years of doing YouTube because Jesus was calling me. Everybody got a different call in time, but you don't want to miss out on that mercy and die and go to hell. Just know that. Two years has been the most terrible time of my life now, living on this earth. Four years in general, I've been doing YouTube for seven years. Four years was Jesus calling me and I denied him because I wanted the Lambos. I wanted to prove to people and I wanted to do this. I wanted to make a name. People said I was a failure, so I had to prove it. I'm Joel TV. I'm Joel and Lauren TV. No, bro, that means nothing. I'd rather not have no platform and save one soul. Not me save one soul, reach one soul. The Holy Spirit used me and feel way better than any accomplishment of dunking, playing basketball, trophies, anything. It's better than the platform. So I'm out. If this touched you, get right with God. This ain't made up. I'm not lying about anything. I have nothing to gain out of doing this. This ain't for content. I might not even get monetized. YouTube to monetize a couple of my videos. These don't even go viral. I don't care for these to go viral. I want this one to go viral though because I want people to know. I had it all, and I went to hell. And you can't run the drugs because you can die. You can't run the woman. That woman can put witchcraft on you. There's no way around it. No way around it. And there's no way around it because of the fact that you're dying slowly once you hiding and suppressing what you need healed. I told y'all, I had a problem being alone. So even when me and my wife would move out of the house, I had my own house, and I thought I was being a good husband, giving her 50 grand a month, 100,000. No, I moved my friend in because I didn't like being alone because of what happened when I was a kid. I suppressed it. Don't suppress it. You go to Jesus. Go to God. And you go through it. Get delivered. So that way you won't be in deep waters because it's never going to go nowhere. I'm 30 years old, and I'm just getting my life, boom, at a start don't wait that long whatever you're going through you know what you're going through addiction soul wounds or alone go through it when you go through it it's going to be painful but the pain is going to purify you it's going to purify you 
And when it's over with, man, it's going to be the best feeling in the world. Knowing that you got through it in Jesus' name. You got through it. And you don't got to be depressed. You don't got to feel like a failure no more. I used to feel so, oh, man. I'm in this video, man. Like, subscribe. I feel so much happier. I'm peaceful. Look, I look good. Y'all see me turn to the side. I'm trying to show my little twisties off. I don't know. I'm trying to think about cutting my hair. I don't know. I just feel good. I feel secure. I, 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 I feel so good in the midst of the trial and storm I'm going through. Because I got comfort in Jesus. You know? Like, subscribe, comment down below. Follow my journey. All right, man. Woo. Bro, I got a lot to say. And, like, granted, this video may be longer than expected. But, bro, I don't care because I feel like people need to hear. People need to, number one, hear this message, okay? People need to truly hear this message and get their life right to Jesus because, fam, y'all think that, oh, that was a dream. He was lying. You are the same. The people that's saying that is the same people that's going to lose their soul because the more you continue to say that is the more you deny Jesus' prophets that he, I wouldn't say, I, not Jesus' prophets. I'm sorry. That was the wrong, that, that was the wrong terminology. But that's, it's, it's you deny the people that God is sending your way so that you can get saved. You know what I'm saying? God raised up so many prophets to warn people in the Bible that, look, this is what's to come if you don't repent. And they denied the prophets. They denied what God was saying to them. And he was like, you know what? Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. This and that. And they went to go live their own life. And guess what happened? God's wrath came upon them. And then we, then now today we say, why was God so angry? Why was God doing this? Why was, it's like, how many times do God have to warn you that he is real. How many times do God have to raise up prophets to warn you to repent? It's like, don't continue to take God's grace for, mer uh, for, for granted. I said God's mercy for granted. But don't continue to take that for granted. God continue to give us mercy and grace each and every day. Granted, I did find God at a, such a young age. I found God when I was 18, but I truly committed myself to him at 19. I'm 20 now. So I've been saved for about a year and a half technically you know what i'm saying and when he was talking about god's peace a lot of people don't understand what that is because the bible tells us that the peace that god gives us is a peace that is is unexplainable like people that is in the world living in the world they they wouldn't know what this peace feel like until they get saved this, his peace exceeds all understanding i can't even tell you how his peace truly feel I like I, I can't explain it. Like it's a piece that is like I could go through something, but instead of me stressing about it, instead of me trying to go work harder to get what I want, I could I know that I have someone I could depend on. So it it brings peace into my life. Like man, I know I got I know I I I know someone who gets my back regardless of what I'm going through. So it get, it's just like a level of peace that flows through me. But it's a lot of things that Joel said. And shout out to Joel, man, before this video even started, which is it's none of nobody's business. But I just want to throw this out there. And it's not to boast and say that I'm this and say, I don't want no congratulations. I don't want no, oh, you're such a good guy, fair man. I don't want none of that. I'm only saying this because I really, I used to, I didn't watch Joel for real, for real. But I watched a couple videos here and there about his gold digger pranks like, in the past like long ago probably like one or two videos but before this video started i prayed for this man because i wanted i i, I wouldn't say i wanted him to because he's already has done it so i didn't pray for him before it was my first time praying for him but i pray that all of y'all that are watching this video continue to if you are continue to live for christ if you're not i pray that y'all give y'all life to christ joel said a lot of things man he said he uh, one thing that he did say was when he went into his body and came back a lot of people may think, oh, man, that's fake. That's this, that's that. No, it's not. You know how that's not because we're fighting against, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. Okay. It was a fight literally going on between the spiritual warfare and, and the heavenly realms. Like he called on the name of Jesus. He was sucked back into his body. That's how much power the name of Jesus truly have. But some of y'all wouldn't know that because y'all don't call on his name. So y'all call on his name when like, when something doesn't go your way, like, oh, Jesus. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all do that, but y'all don't really know how much power his name holds. You know what I'm saying? When you in your praise in the name of Jesus, when you declare healing over somebody in the name of Jesus, when you say, look, I declare this over your life in the name of Jesus. Like when you truly believe that and have faith as the 
mustard seed, these things come to pass. But a lot of y'all don't understand that because y'all don't know the power that Jesus name really hold. You feel me? Y'all don't know the power, but it was a spiritual battle going on right there. That's why he kept leaving his body, kept coming back in, kept leaving his body. Kept, that's literally, a, that's literally, it was like, it was demons fighting against angels. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ever, like, if you are not, I would, you ever seen on TV shows where it's like demons and angels, demons and they just like fighting. Yes, bro. That's literally what's happening, bro. He said it in the video in the little text. He said the spiritual room feels realer than this room. And I'm telling you, it is. I seen a demon get cast out of somebody in person in person i was delivered okay i was delivered from from spirits that had a control of me i was delivered from a depression a depressed spirit i was going through something financially and i was depressed and i kept declaring that over my life i kept saying man i'm depressed man i'm depressed and i kept declaring it and not knowing that i'm manifesting that in my life not knowing that the bible tells us that life and death lies in the power of the tongue so the more i continue to say these things especially the devil knowing that, oh, he is a follower. God, like if the devil see that it's easy for him to attack. He's trying to attack. He wants you back to his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? That's what the devil want. You feel me? Another thing that, um, he talked about that a lot of people don't even know about is witchcraft, bro. A lot of y'all don't know about witchcraft. Witchcraft is so demonic, fam. It is truly demonic and people can literally cast spells on you, bro. People think that's all fake and then, bro, this is real life, fam. I just heard somebody at my job tell another girl that she's a witch. And, and I know people may look, ah, yeah, she was like, bro, this junk is real. People are really casting spells, bro. The stuff that we watch. Some of these demonic shows, these scary shows that we think is so funny and, oh, I love getting scared. Bro, some of them be actually casting real spells, bro. A, a thing happened to my wife. We was watching this uh, this movie. It was a scary movie. I always love scary movies, but after this date, I have not watched a scary movie since. Okay, I have not watched a scary movie since September. This is when this happened. She was, We was watching this scary movie. And they was talking about voodoo. They was talking about all these different stuff. But I'm thinking in my head, we know about voodoo. We know about witchcraft. But we so naive, you know what I'm saying? We just thinking like, oh, it's just a movie. It's cool. Not knowing that they was casting real spells in this movie. We didn't know it was real spells, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But the, that night that she went to bed, I went to sleep. But then when she was, I guess she was up a little bit later. And then she started to fall asleep. But she caught sleep paralysis. And I, I could let her tell that story herself. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she called sleep paralysis three times in one night. Three times in one night, if I'm not mistaken. It was either once or three, okay? I know it was a crazy number. And I'm like, yo, you call. And sleep paralysis, if you don't know that, it's like it feels like somebody is holding you down. You know what I'm saying? It feels like somebody is literally holding you down. You're trying to scream out for help, but it seems like you're being held down and your mouth is being shut. That's what sleep paralysis is. I had sleep paralysis before I got saved. That's what that junk really is, bro. And the only, like, sleep paralysis go away instantly when you call on the name of Jesus. When you say Jesus, when you scream his name, it goes away. It goes away, I swear. You know what I'm saying? That's what she did. She said that she called on the name. See, when I had sleep paralysis, I didn't know Jesus. I just knew of Jesus. So when I had it, it only lasted for me about a couple seconds or so, or uh, probably, yeah, probably like 50 seconds maybe at most. I'm not for sure. You know what I'm saying? But it lasted a decent time where I felt held down. I was trying to call my mama name, but I was calling on the wrong name. <laughs> I was calling on the wrong name, but I couldn't talk. But I was wide awake, but couldn't talk. That was sleep paralysis, bro. <sighs> Man, I'm telling bro, y'all need to get right. This spiritual junk is real. All y'all in a comment session want to troll and say this and say that about God and say this and say that about Jesus. Y'all need to get right. This is real life, fam. This is real life. This is nothing to play with. It's so real and y'all don't see this. Y'all think y'all so wise. Y'all think y'all so this. Y'all think y'all so that. But in reality, bro, the wisest man, the wisest man that, that goes based off human wisdom, earthly wisdom, if you, you could be wise all day long, but if you don't know about Jesus Christ, you are a fool. Okay? You are a fool. You can be wise and you could think how wise, you could think that you're super wise, but wisdom having the wisdom that god has or knowing so much about god knowing who god is knowing who jesus christ is that's the wisdom that exceeds, exceeds all human wisdom and all human understanding these things sound foolish to those who are headed to perish or who are uh, who are headed to destruction according to first corinthians chapter two these people 
Okay, these are the people right now that, that we consider that we consider so wise, but they don't know Jesus Christ. Those are the people that's headed for destruction. Those are the people that are really fools. Man, I man, this video is an hour long, y'all. I don't want I don't want to hold y'all up. You know what I'm saying? But bro, it's so much stuff that is like, man, I and I don't want to do a part two. All right, I'm gonna end y'all off with this. He said something that I truly, I truly felt in my heart. He said, I love Jesus, but I didn't want to commit. I love Jesus, but I didn't really want to commit. Fam, do y'all, like, come on now. That's what some people do. They love Jesus, but they don't want to fully commit and walk out his life and walk out and want to be like Jesus. We would never be Jesus, okay? We would never be him physically, but we can, we supposed to live our life that the same life that he lived, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to walk. He is our example. He, he is the one that we're supposed to follow. That's who we're following. That's who we're living by. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is God in the flesh. As hard as, hard as people may f like make it sound as if that is so unbelievable. That is so this. That is so that. It's proven in the Bible. But a lot of people don't, they don't like to, they read the Bible, just that they don't read it in a context, okay? That's the problem with, with a lot of people who read the Bible. Oh, I read the whole Bible, I read the whole, but did you read it in context? Because if you read it in context, you would know that there's many situations, many occasions where Jesus stated that he was God without stating that he was God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever had a person that calls you stupid without actually calling you stupid? That's exactly how Jesus was. He was literally stating he was God without stating he was God. But we don't see that because we're so blind. The devil has literally covered our eyes to see the truth. But once we ask Jesus to, Lord, take these blinders off my eyes, they sl slowly start to release, slowly start to release. And then we start to really see that, yo, I'm seeing stuff I wasn't seeing like when I was unsaved. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We got to do better, bro. If you call yourself a Christian, walk it out. Don't be afraid to commit. Don't be afraid to commit. Allow Jesus to look truly, truly, first, truly, truly commit yourself to Jesus Christ. Allow God to take them blinders off your eyes. Pray. Ask, ask, repent. Repent from your sins. Live by the living word. Find a man who seeks shall find a man who seeks shall find. I love y'all, man. It's so much stuff that I want to say more, bro, but I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I love y'all, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, Depan. I love each and one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.